Hey, good morning, Chuck here at the Apple Drains. You know, if you've got a sump pump that's giving you trouble, you really can fix this yourself if you're able to get underneath your crawl space. Here's a good example of, you know, it takes maybe five minutes to install the pump. You need a few tools, but take a look. You need a, you know, a 5 16 inch nut driver to undo the check valve. Um, you'll need a hacksaw if you need to cut pipe, but really a simple, simple job. Let's take a look. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are replacing a sump pump down in a crawl space. We're going to use the homeowner's pump. They actually have a, what is this, a Utila Tech, one third of a horsepower. We're going to put that in there and make it work. So you can see they've got a, a nice little sump pump down here in the, in the bottom of their pit. And apparently it's just burned out. So we're going to go ahead and take off this check valve right here, remove the riser in the pump, and we'll put our new pump, their new pump, down in the pit, and it should work just fine. Now we're just going to go ahead and loosen up this clamp right here. Nice and loose, drops down on the riser. I'm going to take my gloves off here for a second, and we should be able to pop this right off of here. Yep, nice. Then we're just going to lift up the old pump, set it off to the side. Then I'm going to retighten these clamps. I see that they're kind of loose here, so we're just going to retighten those up. Put it back together. Tighten that clamp back up. as your little drill will make it. Now we're going to, I'm just going to unscrew the riser of the old pump because we're using an inch and a half discharge as well. And you can see this one has an inch and a quarter adapter. We're going to take that one off. <clears throat> and here's our th threaded male inch and a half insert. And we're just going to screw it right in place. It looks like it's going to fit just right up to the check valve, but we might need to extend it or cut a piece of it off. We'll find out. Screw it in hand tight. There we go. Now we'll set it down in the pit. Oh yeah, perfect fit. You can see the check valve and the riser are at the same level. So let's go ahead and put the clamp on there, pull out this extension, this uh, cord. We just need to undo that tie and we'll hook it up. So you can see we're ready to clamp that together. You can see the new pump down in the bottom. This one has a float that swings to the side. Not really my favorite, but it works just good. This pump says it pumps, uh, I think it's 50 gallons a minute, pretty quick. So let's go ahead and tighten this clamp up right here and we'll be done. Just set it in place, drill, make sure you're going the right way, screw it as tight as it'll go. There we go, let's just double check all these clamps. Nice, nice, we just did that one. So, basically, Basically, we're ready to just pull up this. Well, we need to plug it in, but you can see the float on this one swings to the side when it comes up. We'll kick it on. Let's plug it in so we can make sure it works. So we've got it plugged in. Let's just go ahead and lift up this float. You should be able to hear it. It might not pump any water, but you should hear it kick on as the float rises up. 
Oh yeah, sweet. Real nice pump. Um, again, we like to use a single pole, but this one will work just fine. Save you a little bit of money on your service call. So there we have a new pump installed. Pretty quick, pretty simple. The fun part's coming out. <laughs> Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Dreams reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. When you get down in your crawl space, put on your gloves, your old shirt, your old jeans, or some overalls if you've got them. Get down in here, prepare to get a little bit muddy, but um, this thing needs a moisture barrier, but not too bad.